The client portal is how you share files, client requests, and send other information back and forth with your clients. We recommend inviting your clients to the client portal as soon as they are onboarded, but if you don't, no biggie. Canopy will remind you to invite them if you attempt to send anything their way. It is important to remember that clients cannot make their portal. They have to be invited with their email address to get portal access. You can invite a client to the portal either individually or in bulk, and I'll show you both. Let's go ahead and invite a client to the client portal. You're gonna wanna start in a client record and you can get there by either searching for a client here or navigating to your client list, or you can even choose from one of your recent clients, which is what I'm gonna do. As you can see at the very top here, we have the client portal with a little plus sign. When you click on that plus, it is gonna open up the client portal invitation window. And you wanna check a couple of things here before you send. The first thing is you're going to select who you are sending this portal invitation to. We're gonna definitely send it to Rory Williams. We wanna double check and make sure his email is correct. And then you can see he also has a second person here because he has a spouse linked in his account. So we could send it to his linked contact or you can add another person here by typing in an email address and selecting add. Something to be aware of is that it doesn't have to be a current client that you add here. It can be someone outside of your client list. And even if the spouse or contact is not active and therefore not a billable contact, they can also still be invited to the client portal. This way they can still provide information as part of the portal to do's. Once you've selected who you're gonna send it to, you can include a personalized message down here. You can either go ahead and type it out right here or you can simplify and use a template. Either one created by your team, one you use yourself, or one of the Canopy presets. Then you can go ahead and click send and it will send an invitation their way. You can monitor the invitations for individual clients by clicking on the name underneath the client portal. It'll show you when the invitation was sent and you can choose to remove access or resend the invitation. Let me also show you how to send bulk invitations. Click on clients again in the global navigation bar and then go to manage client portals right here. This is where you can see all of your client portal users as well as those without client portals. If you wanted to send all of your clients who are not using the client portal an invitation, you could do so by clicking on the box at the top, which will select them. Now you'll notice in my case, I have 107 clients who do not have emails. You could add those, but this is why it's really important when you're importing your clients or adding a new client that we have a good email address for them. I have 28 clients selected. I could go ahead and send an invitation right here. And just like before, you can include a personalized message. Let's go ahead now and look at what this looks like from the client's point of view. As you can see here, your client will receive an email with a secure link to create their client portal account. When they get to the screen, they will be prompted to create a password. And then agree to the terms of service and then they can sign in. They will start on the home tab when they first log in and the portal is laid out so they can see several tabs. So they have their home tab where they'll see a quick to do at a glance and their recent files. They can click on to do's and here they'll see any task that you've assigned to them. Files is going to show any files you've shared with them. And finally, billing if applicable will show their outstanding balance, invoices and payment history. If you've set it up, they can schedule an appointment with you by clicking on this button. And down at the bottom is where they can find all of the resources, support library, as well as their user settings. As a best practice, you might wanna share this link with them in your client portal invitation email as part of your onboarding, which will help give them resources on how to use the client portal. 
We also recommend that you have your user set up two-factor authentication via a text message or an authenticator app. They'll do that by going into their user settings and then down at the bottom, this will look really familiar because it should look just like your two-factor authentication you set up, but it is going to be required for them every 30 days on sign-in. It's going to default to their email that they've shared with you, but they can put in a phone number if they would like to receive this two-factor authentication via text message, and I'll agree right here, or they can set up an authenticator app using this QR code and the code down here. All right, let's go back to Canopy and back to our client record. There are many benefits using the client portal, one being you can easily and securely share and sign any files. So by going back to your client record, you can click on files and here you can upload any files that you would like to share with them. By clicking the upload button at the top, Select your files. And after they upload, you'll notice down here, there is a toggle you can use to make it visible in the client portal. So you can choose if you would like to notify anyone and any other collaborators that are linked to their portal will be notified if you choose. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and close. But you'll also notice over here under the visible column, now these guys are blue with a little check mark. You can simply click on the symbol to make it not visible in the portal or again to make it visible again. And as you can see, you can notify them as you do that. I want to show you another client's account just so you can see what this looks like with a few more files. If for any reason you want to be able to bulk either make these visible or not, you can click shift on your keyboard, select the first file and then the sequential ones, you'll click the bottom. And if you right click, you can see you can remove from the client portal or again, make visible. You have several other options when you do this. You can download, move them, combine them, or archive them. All right, let's head back to Rory. Here are the files that we just uploaded and we've shared it. So if we go back into his portal and come back home, you'll see now he shows two files in his recent files. So he can now click on these and view them, print them, download them, whatever he needs to do. Rory can also share files with you by going to his files and clicking add a file. Here he can again select the file, open it, name it, and now it will be shared with you. One more thing I wanna show you is how to send a document to be signed through the client portal. So once your client has an active client portal, you can easily send them files to be electronically signed straight to their portal. So you'll come back, you'll go to the file you want signed under the file tab. And if you right click on the file, the first option is going to be e-sign request. Go ahead and click on that and it'll take you to a new window. In this new window, you'll see that the first tab is going to be where you wanna place your signature. For the purpose of this, I'm just gonna go ahead and place it over here. And you can see now there's a signature. You'll do the same thing for your recipient signature. You can drag it and drop it where you need to and then you'll be able to choose which clients you would like. So we're gonna go ahead and choose Rory. We're gonna also add an initial field and a date field. Once you have all of the signatures, initials, and dates that you need, you can move on. As you can see, all signers are gonna receive an email with a link to complete the request even if they don't have a client portal. But client portals will be able to see this within their portal, which I'll show you in just a moment. You can then rename the file if you would like, add a due date, 
And you can add a reminder if you would like. Down at the bottom, there's a quick note which you can change and edit and you can then click send now. Your client request has been sent. I'll show you what that looks like. But before we do that, it does create a task for you after you've sent that. Let's look at the task. Now you can see we're under the task tab under the client record. And right here, you can see here's this e-sign request we just sent. And it shows the status with the client. Okay, let's go ahead and look back at Rory's client portal. When we come back here and come to the home page, now you'll see at the top he has an item that needs to be completed. He can click on the e-sign request. It'll show the message you've sent and he has the option to view and sign. And just like this, he can go ahead and click on where he needs to sign, check that he agrees and add signature. We'll do the same thing for the initials. Once he has completed all of the requests, he can click send. And now he has the opportunity to view the document. Jumping back over to our canopy. And if we refresh this page, now the status has changed to needs review. I'm gonna come back to my files. And now you can see I have two files that Rory has added. Here's the first one and then right here is the one that he has signed. We're gonna go ahead and add these over to our files. We can review the signed one if we would like by clicking on it. We'll make sure everything looks good. And just like that, you're done. If you would like to update your status, you can go ahead, go back to your active tasks. And I'm gonna put completed. The client portal is a great way to help you and your clients stay organized, share documents, and so much more. As always, if you've had any questions that have come up while watching this, you can reach out to our support team by clicking on your profile icon down here. You can chat with support or call them at this number. As always, our Knowledge Base and Help Center are great places for you to learn more. You can always search right here or go directly to our Knowledge Base where you can search client portal and you can see all of the amazing resources that we have for you available.